Have I ever led you wrong? Oh, no way. Now, I just want you to stand here and take it in. Too scary. It's a bit muddy. Yeah, so this is absolutely stunning and gorgeous and very secluded, so. And very muddy. Yeah. <laughs> what in the world are we heading to? Well, it's a surprise. It's a little known secret. Well, there's two things actually. Um, hopefully we'll find them. There's no trail, it's just following your nose, following the creek. Oh boy. Wow. Well, there is a bit water. We have had have, have had heavy rain, so. But you'll, you'll enjoy this one. Okay. I certainly hope so. Have I ever led you wrong? Nope, not thus far. Okay, so I can hear it. So are we uh, fixing to see a nice waterfall then? Well, that's part of it. But be patient. There's the waterfall. Okay, well there's not a, not a lot of water. But we have had quite a bit of rain recently, so. Right, well, let's go down to the bottom. I've got something else to show you. Okay. Well, I'm glad the water's flowing. Yeah. Because it only flows after it has had rain. So all that rain yesterday although we were peed off about it, has done the trick, or mind your step. Oh, it is real muddy though, it's sticky. Oh, that is a pretty waterfall though. Yeah, the overhang there, it goes back. Yeah, but you haven't seen everything. Oh, no way. <laughs> Look at this. Now, I just want you to stand here and take it in. This is, this is remarkable. I mean, like you said, imagine if there was weeks of heavy rain. This whole thing would be a waterfall. That's right, it does, the whole lot. So this would be hidden behind Under the, the waterfall. waterfall. No, that is, that's why it's probably preserved so well. This is, this is really cool. So the history. Yeah. Nobody really knows an awful lot about it. It's believed that pioneers or uh, homesteaders built this in 1905. And the reason why they said 1905 is there used to be a plaque here with the name and the date. Yeah. Unfortunately, somebody's thieved it. So 
during Prohibition, they believe it then became a bootlegger's cabin where they used to cook up moonshine. True story. So it's known as the bootlegger's cabin. Wow. And I mean, that, that is the thing, because again, we've said this before, but in these forests, you, you can't see very far. So especially if this is waterfall coming out, they could hide from the authorities here. Yeah. Now they think that the original building was for cold storage, because obviously the water and everything kept all their canned, canned goods dry. Yeah. Or cold. But, uh, it kind of makes you wonder what they would have used for that. And also, going back prior to 1905, Native Americans yeah, would have exactly. used this. Now, they also theorise that the homestead itself was built on top of the bluff. Oh, OK. I don't know where that came from. Um, I don't know. There's no ruins up there, so I don't know what made them think that. Yeah, because... See, I'm wondering whether or not this would have just been a cabin. Right. The only thing, because there's not... Not a vent. A vent for fire to come out, and the roof isn't really blackened. I mean, there's a little bit, but somebody has built a fire in here recently. Well, yeah, unfortunately, somebody has uh, tried to... There's, the timbers here have been burnt. Yeah. And you can see that good old thugs have been in. Yeah. Which is a shame. It does take away from just the natural, the awe of this. I mean, look at all of these stones. And then the, the chinking in, in, the, in between the stones. Did they live here? Was it just a storage? So many questions. Yeah, so can you imagine 120 Old years ago, 120 years ago, a family had this, they believe, as their storage. Yeah, that's just, that's incredible. Oh, and actually, you saying something. So, there's no fire charring at all, although someone has tried to have a fire in here. Um, in which case, the Native Americans wouldn't have charred, wouldn't have used this, right. not for fire. Can't see, is that trying or is that just the color of the rock? That's the color of the rock. Yeah. This is because the beam's been set okay. on fire. Yeah, because see, this is without the flashlight. That looks like it was charred. But once you put the flashlight on it, it is just yeah, the color no, of the rock. It's so. But this is pretty cool. This oh, is. look at that natural, uh, what's that over there? Oh, apart from all the oh, mosquitoes. Oh, yeah, a bunch of, look at all those. Yuck. That's disgusting. Oh, but look, it's kind moisture. of like a, a natural ledge there. Yeah. This, this is lovely, isn't it? it this is, is amazing. And now I wonder, wonder if that's an animal that's dug that or? Well, see, yeah, again, I mean, uh, bobcat, coyote, this would be a cool little den for them to. Bear. Bear, yeah. There's no scat though. No, I don't see any either. And I only see uh, a few footprints. I don't really see any animal tracks anywhere. It's not a real well-known place. There is no trail here. Right. So I don't know who found it, you know, after the pioneers. Yeah. But then also, I mean, look out the window at the waterfall coming through. And we're like, too, just got the perfect view of that waterfall. And look at the bars, how they've reinforced it. Yeah. And you imagine when the water's flowing all the way over, totally hidden. Amazing. Pretty impressive, huh? Well, let's go check that out, too.
So obviously all the time the water flows, they had fresh water too. It does make you wonder. Oh, these are quite slick. It's cool. And then the water continues flowing round on this side too. Lots and lots of mosquitoes. Oh wow, look at all the moss, how the moss has oh, wow. come down. That's pretty neat. Well, that definitely was a, a cool little find, I think. Yeah. Now, if we can find our way back to Tonto. <laughs> and it's uphill all the way. Yeah. Muddy too, so we're gonna have to uh, maybe take our boots off before we get in.